Yeah, well, I mean, I guess that's what we're doing. Semi is about to dominate at a little place I'm going to start calling Giga Bigger. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. I don't know if you know, but last night, in the middle of the night, we got a rare treat. Giga Nevada. It's expanding. This uh, dapper gentleman, as someone in the pre-chat, uh, pre-show chat pointed out, looks like he's getting ready to go to school. First day of class. Very respectable. This is uh, what we've been kind of waiting for. Uh, talking about expansion in, uh, in, in, in Nevada. Difficult place to hire. He did <laughs> make some comments during it about how um, there was a so well, it's it's like a paradise. It's snowy outside, and in the summer it's nice. And and there's wild horses. It's like a paradise. Move here. Yeah, it's miserably hot in the summer. It's freezing cold in the winter, and there's not much to do. But if you're here for the mission, let's do it. Hey, hey, what's that on the screen you see? This is the updated, uh, actual, real-time production. Yeah, for the quarter, for the quarter that just ended. Yeah, we'll get back to it. So what did we learn? We learned that uh, they were planning to make more batteries than had ever existed, and that they did, and that they're expanding it even further. We learned that they're going to be spending an absolute ton of money. The purple is the current footprint, and then we're going to have this area. Uh, this morning I was on a Twitter space uh, with Wolf Financial, and Gordon Johnson showed up. Wow, that guy. <laughs> and he shouted over Omar, and he was trying to get under Omar's skin, and he eventually succeeded. In the press release, they said two new factories. Now, what they meant is two factories within the factory, this semi-manufacturing area, and the 4680 battery factory area. These are not two whole new factories. These are still within the site. Now, they own a lot of the land around this. In addition to the original purchase, they had expanded. But what does all this mean? That the big semi, <laughs> the big semi expansion area, it's uh, <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So let's start with <laughs> not a big deal. It's not a big deal. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, this is not a big deal," because uh, semi manufacturing. You know, uh, how many are you even going to make? How much business is this actually going to be? You know. So let's take a look at that. Biggest semi-truck brands. Mm. So at, let's start at the top here. We've got Scania. To hit the top 10, you need to sell 81,000 trucks globally. That's not that many. Yeah, look at that. We've got some, uh, some cars driving by. Real-time production rates from various factories. We updated it. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments if you like it. 81,000 to get on the board. That's not that bad. 83,000 for man. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's a your mama joke in there. Iveco, this 134,000 presumably includes Nicola's haul. Packar, which is Kenworth and Peterbilt, 158,000 globally. So what are we talking about here? A little more hand assembled than you'd like, but you can see Kenworth does have a production line. They are actually producing on a line. <laughs> they have clipboards. That technology has not been lost. Engines are quite complicated to make, but so are battery packs. But those are made next door. When I say next door, I mean in the factory right next door. So they've got an assembly line, but this factory is going to be not much smaller, maybe even bigger. And it's going to be, it's going to be millions of square feet, but I think it has to be. But what's really better is their use of vertical space. If you look in this factory, you'll see that there is no vertical space really in use. It's all linear, which is a disadvantage. But let's just pretend that Tesla is just going to do it just as good as this. That means they can realistically make 100,000 trucks a year. 100,000 would put them on the board. It's not a crazy number, especially when you consider this factory expansion is going to be 36 billion dollars. <laughs> How much money is that? Well, we've got the factory cost, 
3.6 billion divided by just the buyer incentive from the Inflation Reduction Act. They would only need to make 90,000 trucks to pay for the entire factory. Oh wait, they also get money for making the 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 cells, for making the battery packs themselves. There's another what would that be? $35,000? Oh man. This gets crazy in a hurry. 3.6 divided by, what did I say? 75,000. They only need to make 48,000 trucks. Is that, well, yes, but that buyer incentive goes to the buyer. It sure do. But you can bump the price up by that much. There were, there are still people, very smart people who I respect, who have some kind of notion that the semi is going to be 150 to 180,000 like it was when it was promised, and that ain't going to happen. Well, what about 3.6 billion divided by 10 years of just 100,000 trucks? It's only $3,600 per truck over the 10-year period. Here's the deal. I need you to build me a factory. I need it to be the best factory you ever built. I need it to be efficient and effective and make EVs at a rate hitherto unimaginable. Oh, and I'm going to give you $3,600 to build me that factory. Well, per truck, per truck, mind you. I mean, yeah, I'm selling them for two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars, but I'm only going to give you thirty-six hundred over ten years. It's a bargain, my friend. We don't know what the price is. There are analysts, like well-respected analysts, who are still thinking eh, it's probably probably one hundred fifty, one hundred eighty thousand. It's not, and we don't know what the price is. We don't know what the price is uh, because it's coming down. Whatever it was today may not be relevant in a year or two when this factory comes online. Oh, but it's going to take years to come online. Nah, because they already started building it. They started building it before they announced it. But 150000 is crazy talk because a plaid, a red plaid, is already 122490 You think for another twenty-seven, twenty-eight grand, you can get an entire semi-truck? You can't. You can't. The parts alone would be worth that. <laughs> Look at all these cool cars driving by. The real-time production, my friends. Real-time. The actual rate. I made the maps a little fancier, and uh, my son did some work to make the animation a little nicer. Um, because money. Yeah, these are his chores. These are how he gets paid, is by coding. So we've got the new factory has been <laughs> now I'm bringing this up because when this was announced a month and a half ago, almost two months ago, I said, ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be near Nuevo Leon. It's going to be in Monterey. And I said, it doesn't make sense. It's going to be, why would you? Why would you build another factory that close to Austin when Austin is still under construction? Why it doesn't you know for what? For model threes, maybe? For the compact, which hasn't even been announced, which they've said they're not going to announce until they get at least Cybertruck done. And these and and this said, oh, it's gonna be this could be announced in days. Within days, and that was a month ago. Over a month ago. Ah, uh, it could be, yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna happen in tech in in Mexico. Well, labor is so much cheaper. It's a bit cheaper, yeah, but labor is not the majority cost. And I feel a little bit vindicated here, man. Come on. <sighs> but it didn't make sense. These analysts. I was on a Twitter space and a very well known Twitter figure. Uh, I said, yeah, the Mexico thing, it doesn't make sense. It's probably not going to happen. And he practically shouted me down and definitely tried to make me look like a jackass for having the audacity to know that it doesn't make any sense. That's how it works, is the big names get the most attention. And the rumors, the juicy rumors, I often wonder how successful I could be if I was willing to be a lying jackass. And how are we liking this, by the way, the new animation? This will be running during the later shows today as well. We're only 670 seconds into it, and yet 46 cars have been produced. And this is the entire Q4 pace 
uh, it doesn't, it's not just December. Dece if we did just December, it'd be a faster pace, wouldn't it? The big news is the semi is coming and it's going to come on fast. And it's going it, to, it might take another year to ramp, maybe a little bit more to get the factory going, but producing a semi doesn't take the kind of dialing in that a car does. It doesn't have a, a, a ton of stamped panels, a bunch of complicated castings. Semi trucks are quite simple apart from the drivetrain and the drivetrain is the one part they've got sorted out and they're building it in the one place that can actually that can actually build it. The batteries are going to be made right right here in this part of the building and just move right over to there. And I see Franz has been hard at work coming up with some awesome new aesthetics for the outside. This is very exciting. The semi is going to be made in a volume that makes everyone else look crazy. The batteries are going to be made at a cost that makes the competition scared. And they're going to kick perhaps all of the ass, if not the majority of it. Because you can pay a lot more for an electric semi when you consider the savings in maintenance, the savings in fuel. Well, there it is, and there you go. If you want to watch the complete 30-ish minute version, head on over to the second channel, My Tesla Live, where the uh, whole thing goes out each Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Yeah, join in the conversation. Thanks, as always, to everyone else. Like, subscribe, do the usual thing, and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the live channel.